Victor Vran is an isometric action RPG in the style of the Van Helsing games. It's actually in that style in multiple ways. They both draw on pretty much the same exact lore, but just change some things around. In Victor Vran, you play as a lone hunter of all things monstrous and evil in nature. You get to pick your weapons and learn how to best use their abilities while upgrading your gear. There's also demon powers as well, which are all skills that get dropped by enemies or that you can buy. The game surprisingly lacks an actual skill set of unique character-based skills. This surprises me because it has a very similar class system to Van Helsing. It just lacks anything to add any meaning to the classes other than the base stat differences. Most of your time in Victor Vran will be spamming the same two weapon abilities over and over with the occasional demon power or potion. It's very simplistic. The graphics are about what you'd expect from an indie action RPG like this. The sounds are all on par, and the voice acting is very interesting. They got the voice actor from Geralt from The Witcher. I've been running away all my life. It's my time to stand and fight. Let me tell you my story. I find this so funny because no one in the Steam reviews that talks about the voice actor seems to know where he's from when they mention it. And I see plenty of comments bash on him for being such a horrible voice actor. The cutscenes are rare and mediocre, and all dialogue is just text on your screen that is read out loud by the voice actors. It's a very low-budget game in this regard. Don't expect anything immersive here. The story is likely something most action RPG players don't care about, and luckily for you, the game doesn't have much of a story to begin with. That's the thing with these Diablo-esque action RPGs, is that they are entirely based around fighting and killing a large amount of enemies to improve your gear and get better drops and things like that. Everything else is an afterthought, and Victor Vran really helps prove that point. However, Victor Vran, again, doesn't even do the fighting well because it lacks any kind of class-based skills and focuses entirely on what two weapons you're wielding and two demon powers you can equip and switch out. Victor Vran is at its most fun when played cooperatively. I've actually only found it fun while playing it with a friend. You can play with up to three of your friends, so you have a four-man party of monster-slaying victors. The game at no point really gives you any AI that assists you with anything. Your character always refuses help, even from other hunters in the game, and he does it in a way that's just so obviously because they didn't want to script an AI for an allied hunter or because they just weren't good enough to do it. Overall, the game really just isn't fun unless you're playing it with friends. They left out a lot that games very similar to this one include. The whole experience just feels very bare bones. And unless you're going to play it with a group of friends, I can't recommend it. Victor Vran gets a 4 out of 10. It's just below average for a single player experience. That rating would be probably increased to a 5 or a 6 if you're playing with friends though, depending on how many you're playing with. If you want to see more reviews, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.